Welcome back to AZ Astro. So this is kind of a surprise unboxing, uh, but about two weeks ago, I decided that it was time for me to ditch my Skywatcher ED100 doublet ref uh, refractor. And I bought, if you guys can't already tell, I think it's on the front there. Yeah, the Explore Scientific ED102 triplet refractor. So this is the unboxing for it. And as you can tell, I haven't opened it yet. I almost, I almost opened it earlier today out of excitement, but I was able to resist. A box within a box. Open this one. All right, and there's the telescope. So I'll take this box out. And let me go ahead and bring you guys in closer. Okay, so here's the telescope. Lots of foam pads, I like that, to protect it. And then this seems to be the accessories. So it looks like a two inch diagonal for eyepieces. Uh, I may use it, I don't know. And then it looks like Two spacers, which from what I've heard, I'll probably need to use. I'll probably need to use those. And then here's the actual telescope with a bag, which I'll look at here in a second. And nothing else in that box. Oh, that actually is a pretty long bag. I'll probably end up getting a case for this. So, and this also is, uh, this is not the FPL 100 glass or the FP, FPL 51 glass. This is the, uh, oh, I forget the name of it. I'll put it down in the description underneath the video of what type of glass it has. But, out of the bag. That is a very, very front heavy telescope. So, I do love how they package these very well. And as far as this handle goes, I'll probably be replacing this uh, because I have my um, guide camera. My guide scope rides on top of the telescope. Uh, it might actually work on this, but I'm not sure. If not, I have a dovetail bar to fit on there. And then I have the paper there. I'm not going to undo anything, but yeah, here's the telescope. Ooh, it's got a nice metal lid, which I like. And then there's the front objective. And as far as I know, yep, this does slide out. That slides out like that so that I can image and back down. I can't wait to give this thing a try. I'm so excited now that I'm actually uh, moving on to triplet refractors. So I'll probably end up taking this off for weight purposes because as I said, my guide scope will ride up here. 
and I don't need that extra weight on this side, so I might take that off unless it acts as a good counterweight uh, for my my guider that goes on this side. But yeah, I'm pretty excited. And then uh, in the future, I will actually be unboxing another one. I'll be unboxing this telescope's little brother. Uh, I decided that I couldn't get everything that I wanted with just the 102 because it's too wide of a focal length, like for instance, Heart Nebula, which I was supposed to do a video of, but I just, I couldn't get the Heart Nebula as good as I wanted. I'll add the pictures in this video so you guys can see what I got. But the framing was just horrible. It was too long of a focal length to fit in the image. So I'm doing this video instead. Uh, but I also ordered the uh, Explore Scientific ED80 triplet refractor. So I'll have both of those. And I will unbox that when it comes in. It's currently on back order, so I don't know when it'll be coming in. But yeah, this is the ED uh, 102. Let's see if it gives me the name of the glass on the front here. Yeah, it just says uh, EMD coating. Triple airspaced ED Acromat EMD coating. Uh, it was, if I recall correctly, the actual name of it. Wow, that was loose. That's weird. It's okay, though. Uh, I can't recall the name of it, but it was... It's not as good as the FPL 51 or even FPL 100 glass, but that's okay. I'm just happy to finally have a triplet. All right, so I'm going to go put this on my telescope, and I'm going to start imaging some stuff. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, this was a pretty short video. There's not really much to a telescope to show off or anything. But uh, if you guys enjoyed the video uh, and want me to continue making videos, don't forget to like and uh, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.